G'day fellow YouTubers, and today I'm going to talk about Gary Ablett and where he's going to play. I've um, done a video recently with Geelong and sort of the lineup they've got going and probably how the midfield's going to look because they've got so many players that can run through there. I did talk about Ablett uh, a little bit, but I was just very interested to talk about him again. And it's just a really interesting discussion point. Um, I like talking about it. Uh, probably most Geelong supporters like talking about it and debating where he should go, where he shouldn't play, all these sorts of things. So I'm going to um, put him in a spot, but um, the title gives away a fair bit. Cats moving forward. So going by this article, going by what Geelong is saying, Ablett is supposedly looking to play more of a role in the forward line. And as we can see in the article here... I have to do a search because I can't read. Oh, yeah. The potential Gary Ablett spending more time in attack in 2019. Very interesting, that. Um, I sort of agree with it. But yeah, what I do know is he, he'll go on the bench when he needs to. He'll play if he's fit. And he shouldn't play in the back line. Even running off half back, I don't think he should play there. Just shouldn't play there full, full stop. We've got enough players, i.e. Stewart, Tui, that can run and dash off half, half back. Even Buse does at times. Sometimes O'Connor, depending on where he's at in the best 22 in the scheme of things there. Uh, so I don't think we can afford to have him down back. And if he's one-on-one -on -one with a super speedy player, uh, Willie Rowell is the only one that comes to mind these days. I don't know. Eddie, Eddie Betts is probably another player that comes to mind. If Ablett's got... Those guys one on one, I would not be very confident at all. Um, he hasn't really defended much in his life, and that's not you know that's not attacking him, but more so just saying he's your front half sort of player. He's, and he has done stuff behind the ball in the past when, at his absolute peak where he just run around all day. But I, I don't think in the mon you need pressure at both ends in the modern game, and that's what making him a forward will be very interesting. Um, Rowan and Dalhouse will certainly have their work cut out and they'll have to apply a lot more of the pressure because I don't see Ablett applying heaps of tackles. At, at his best last year in season 2018, he was applying some really good tackles. That game against North Melbourne, down at um, GMHBA, he played really well and was very solid. He was tackling and he was, he was on fire. He was our best player, which was good to see down at, down at the Cattery. Um, so yeah, ideally, I still think of him off the back of the square or on the wing. Probably is ideal. Um, having him as that outside player, he, he could he could get the ball, but he's, he's 35, 36 this this year. I mean, there's no need to really have him, um, you know, going in to get that hard ball for his for his whole life. Um, you've got to really be um, methodical with where you put him and where you place him, how long you place him in certain spots for. But I, I'd like to see him play predominantly forward. Um, I was thinking in my last video, I was leaning towards probably maybe 60 in the mid, 40 up forward. The thing with him up forward is he's not a great overhead mark. His shoulders, uh, they're not cooked, but they're not in great condition. They've had um, quite a bit of wear and tear the last few years. And he's certainly feeling it. Uh, so, yeah. And with the way the modern game is, it may change with some of the rules with the 666, only very temporarily. Um, there's just not as many moments where you find him one on one. If it was one on one, maybe back him in. But defenders are so good now that, yeah, they, they know where to you know, play back shoulder and all those sorts of things. And, yeah, he's certainly not as, probably not as strong as he once was. And that's fair enough. He's getting older. But my main concern with him playing forward, as I said, the, the pressure he, he brings, um, has he still got that agility and breakaway speed to crumb? Because he's probably more of a crummer than, yeah, sort of a marking type of player. So that that's um, all things to consider. You've got to look at the forward line, the makeup. So you've got um, Raddy Galea, Hawkins, in the, is, as a best case scenario. Henry might chime in from time to time. Then you've got uh, Rowan, he, he can mark as well, and he can chase and tackle. Dale House at his best can. Be a good grab and kick a few goals here and there. But, um, yeah, there's a lot to be played out. Going to be very interesting. I'd like to... Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I, I can argue it either way. But 
no point me sitting here speculating what could be. Uh, experiment with it pre-season, and it will be experimented early in the season to see how it all goes. Likely, I think he'd still play a bit in the midfield, um, hopefully on the wing. I, I said in the last video, don't play him in the centre circle. Just He doesn't really need to grab that crazy ball. I think we've got enough ball, inside ball winners that can do that, that can give the ball out to Ablett, because you want him with the ball with time and space, um, not under a lot of pressure, because he can kick it pretty well. He's, uh, we've got him for class, so kind of like Mitch Duncan, where you want to be giving the ball to Duncan. You don't want Duncan getting the ball. Uh, so that leads me to go with hopefully an outside role on, on the wing. Hopefully mainly forward and then sort of go to a wing with a bit of chop out here and there. So yeah, you can say I'm sitting on the fence with this one. But um, yeah, it, there's no definites in footy. There's no you know, set in stone um, yeah, where players play kind of thing. Except for Hawkins at full forward. <laughs> But he plays in half ward as well, so you know there's no guarantees. Players get thrown around all over the place, and for good reason. Sometimes you find that uh, they can play other roles even better than what you thought they could. Yeah, um, I'm thinking. Yeah, see how he goes forward. If he doesn't go well forward, put him on a wing back at the back of the square, uh, or rotate him. So it will be very interesting to see what the coaches do. But if I if I'm putting my coaching hat on, that's what I reckon. So. Where does he play, guys? Tell, tell me in the comments where Ablett should play in season 2019. And I wonder if he'll go on past 2019. Unlikely, but you never know. Uh, feel free to chuck in any yeah answer down below in the comments. And don't forget to, forget to give the video a like. Subscribe away as well. It'll be awesome. And yeah, keep clicking back for more content. I'll see you guys all soon.